Werner Tobin here at the Farm Progress Show. Hey, catching up now with Eric Cochran. He is a professor at Iowa State. Eric, how's it going? I'm doing great. How are you today? I'm well. Hey, we are at the Varied Industries Tent. And what's really interesting about this, especially this year, is the surface. It is soybean asphalt, for a lack of a better term. Eric, tell me, what are you standing on? Well, so actually what we're standing on is 100% recycled asphalt. And so every time uh, an aging road is uh, slated for demolition and reconstruction, uh, a big milling truck is going to come and it's going to grind the top few inches of asphalt off the top of that pavement. And so it generates this gravel-like mixture that we call RAP, a reclaimed asphalt pavement. So any, uh, any paving contractor is going to have these huge stockpiles of crushed asphalt that's waiting for a new home. And so what we've done at Iowa State is we've developed a soybean oil based polymer that allows you to reconstruct that crushed pavement into a new pavement uh, by softening and binding those particles together. Now talk about this um, footprint here, about an acre, how much, uh, how much soybean oil would you need to make an acre of asphalt? Yeah, so this is about 45,000 square feet and it uses about 2,300 pounds of, of soybean oil uh, to make the materials that, that went into this uh, project here. Right. Now, Eric, talk about, I guess, the process. What is a binding agent? You're obviously reclaiming old asphalt. You know, how does it come together uh, and what's the potential? Uh, yeah, so the binding agent is, is a, as I said, a soybean oil-based polymer that we formulate into an emulsion. So that's, that's just like a latex paint. So it's mostly water, but there are little bubbles of soybean oil polymer in there. So the way, that, the way that this whole process works is the crushed asphalt comes in on dump trucks, they spread it out, we come in with the spraying truck and it sprays the soybean oil emulsion um, all over the, the, the crushed asphalt. And then a compactor just comes in and squishes it all down into the, into the final product. So compared to a hot mix asphalt pavement, we're doing two things. One, it's 100% recycled content, so that's landfill diversion and cost savings there. And the second is asphalt normally requires um, a lot of energy to get it hot. So it's usually heat is what allows you to compact asphalt. And what we're doing is we're replacing heat with soybean oil. What about competition here? How competitive could, should, or would a product like this be with conventional asphalt? Uh, Eric, what's the future here? Well, I think the future is if you, if you look at, at any country's infrastructure, you'll notice that even though there's a lot of paved roads, there's more unpaved roads than there are paved roads. Uh, especially as you get away from urban centers, uh, uh, a lot of farm access roads. I know access from field to uh, the crush facility is, you know, is a big uh, economic aspect of, of farming, right? So I think the future is really paving all these unpaved surfaces at a drastically reduced cost. Uh, without a huge environmental impact. So, you know, we're really looking at scaling this up to 300 million pounds or more every year. Well, now you mentioned as well, final thing, you had some calls from Canada about this. Tell, me, tell us about that. Uh, yeah, well, uh, Canada, as you know, is, has uh, some cold weather climates uh, every now and then. And uh, one of the things we've noticed about these soybean oil-based chemistries is they really interact with asphalt to make it more crack resistant. So if, uh, if you're a fan of potholes, then our, our product is probably not what you're looking for. Uh, but what, what we do is we can take really stiff asphalts, recycled asphalts, and then rejuvenate them so that they're more crack resistant, especially in cold weather climates. So we've had discussions with companies like McAsphalt um, and also uh, subsidiaries of ExxonMobil that, uh, that, that sell raw binder uh, for the paving industry. Final question, and then we've talked about this in the press conference. I mean, economically, I mean, this. At some point, this could be a fraction of the cost of, of general asphalt because of the reclamation and the recycling of aspect of it. You know, is that something that this, this project and this this has going for it? Uh, yeah. So compared to a hot mix asphalt pavement, you know, this particular project is, is somewhere between four and five times less costly than than what a what a virgin pavement would would cost. So depending on the pavement design and whether you're doing it yourself or you're hiring external contractors, that savings factor uh, can range from you know, three times cheaper to as high as 10 times cheaper. Well, that's an amazing story, Eric. Hey, thank you for taking some time to talk to Real Agriculture. Yeah, thanks, I appreciate it.